Hi guys, today I'll be sharing a video about packing a gimbal together with a camera into a bag. And uh, recently I am on a work trip to Bintan Island and I wanted to do some video shoots and also photography on my off work time. So I was thinking on how can I actually pack a gimbal together with a camera into a bag. I don't have a lot of camera bags. The only one that I have that I use most of the time is the Lowy Pro Flipside 200. So it's a pretty small bag. I sort of figured out a way how to actually pack the uh, gimbal into this uh, Lowy Pro Flipside 200. Now that I found that actually there's two ways that I can pack this. Now the first style is to put the gimbal outside of the bag. And if you're not comfortable, you can actually put the gimbal inside the bag without removing anything, just the tripod leg. So I'm going to show it to you guys how I actually figure out this way and how I travel together with my, with my gimbal to Bintan Island. Now, the first way is to take a look at your the uh, Louis Pro bag. So there is a clip on the bottom over here, sorry, on the center, there's this clip where uh, it's designed for you to mount your tripod and then on the bottom there's this holder for your tripod leg so technically when we travel together with this bag we can mount the tripod close to the back and then the, the leg of the tripod is just uh, resting on the bottom so you can move around so what I did was I used the same idea by mounting the, uh, the gimbal together over here so I'll show it to you it's very easy, it's very simple, it's very quick as well As you can see, this is the clip, holds the gimbal tight and steady and this is the tripod leg from the gimbal, just slot it in and now it's ready to go, you can move around. And the only thing is, the gimbal arms, it's flimsy, it's moving around, you can see, right? So that's the only disadvantage and I figured out a way how to overcome this as well. So there's this holder from the Louis Pro bag over here, so what I do is I just slip it over the bag like this. So technically, it's holding the gimbal plate over, over here, so it's not going anywhere. Yep. So let it rest like this, and I came up with an idea, another idea as well, by using my lock laces from my running shoe. So these are actually an adjustable elastic shoelace for our running shoe. So I'll just clip this in, and then tighten it up with the lock lace. And that's it. Looks nice, steady, you can move around, it's not going anywhere. So the entire gimbal packed in a camera bag. And I have the entire space inside the bag for all my devices. So I can put in my camera, my passport, my cash, my charger, my battery, my sunshades, everything. Zip it up and I'm good for a good trip. So if you want to use the gimbal, just unhook this, take it out, since this is an elastic band, remove it, unclip, and then just slide the gimbal out, pull it out, put your back aside, bring the camera, attach it to your gimbal, and you can start doing your video shoot. So it's very fast, it's very easy, and it's very efficient. So that's one way to travel together with the gimbal without removing anything from the gimbal. It's in one whole piece. Guys. Now, the second option is to put the gimbal into the bag because some of us do not like something to be outside so and, and the metal part of the uh, the gimbal is knocking uh, during the, uh, in a compartment in a plane. So you don't want that to happen and you want the gimbal to be inside the bag together with your camera. So that's a way to it as well. And I'm still using the same bag, the Louis Pro uh, Flipside 200. So if you take a look inside the bag, inside the bag, this is how it looks like. It's totally empty, I've removed the sponge and then uh, the top compartment is really empty and there's only one centerpiece of sponge over here which provides two, two sides, uh, left and the right space for uh, my gimbal and also my camera. So how do I do this? It's very simple. Um, on the gimbal, this is my gimbal, the Feiyu 
A100, A1000, I remove the tripod leg. So once I remove the tripod leg, it gets it's uh, actually shorter, so it gives some uh, more opportunity for us or uh, uh, some uh, some uh, space for, for us to put into the bag. So now this is how the bag looks like. I slot the holder in down here, and then I place the gimbal like this. So as you can see, everything is in here, and the gimbal just take a little bit of space, and there's some ex extra space uh, for my camera and all my uh, my my items. So this is for my camera. So before I put in my camera, I have a bag, uh, I put in my mic, my battery, and also all the cables in this bag. So this bag goes in here, right? And then I use my camera, slot it in here, zip my bag, and I'm good to go. But there's one disadvantage. You know what? Because when, we, when I put my camera down like this, the lens is facing down, the gimbal will hit my camera when I move around. So I need a solution, I need a sponge. And the good news is, the Louis Pro bag, when I purchase it, it came together with a pouch. So this pouch is for us to put on top of this bag. So there's some Velcro around the bag, so it stays there. So, so what I did was, I just put the bag in, and it looks like this. It looks like original. So in this small pouch, if I unzip it, I have all my cash, my bags, and also my passport in here. Zip it, everything's down here. Now I still have some compartment for my Sony A6500. Let's put it in like this, and the lens facing down. Now of course, there are some advantage and disadvantage on how I um, pack this. Uh, the, the, the advantage is everything is inside, it's more secure, you feel more safe when you travel. But the disadvantage is whenever you want to use the uh, gimbal, you need to remove the bag, pull the gimbal out, put the bag in, remove the camera, and then you start uh, fixing the tripod leg and, and the rest of the uh, tuning for your gimbal. So that's an advantage and disadvantage. However, if it's a long distance and I know that I'm not going to use any gimbal along the way, this is my preferred style of packing. But when I'm, I've already arrived in the destination, I knew that uh, if I'm walking around in town and I, I want to use the gimbal um, uh, for some video shoots, then I will actually pack my gimbal outside of the bag. So once I pack everything up, I have all my passport and my, my cash and everything's in there. The last one would be the tripod leg, just put it in here. So in here, everything is safe. And I close it up and then I zip the bag. Everything is in here. It's good to go. So on the left side of the compartment, I can put my water bottle and my shake. And then over here, this is compartment, I can put my SD card and my pen and paper and, uh, and of, of course my car keys. So this is how I travel to Bintan, uh, together with a gimbal and a camera inside and uh, it's safe, it's so com convenient, and that's how I packed it. So here we go guys, two ideas on how to pack light together with gimbal and camera for your travel, photography travel. So if you guys have any ideas or any other style on packing a gimbal together in a bag, let me know in the comments below because I love to, le uh, I love to learn from you guys. So until then, thank you and happy shooting guys. See you guys, bye bye.